gang, welcome back to Madworks Garage. It's a very rainy day, so if you hear any noise, it's because of the tin roof and lots of rain falling on it. Anyway, welcome back. Right, we've had uh, a few developments since I last saw you. We've got the head back from uh, the engineers, which has now been skimmed and looks all beautiful. I'll get that and show you. There you have it. We uh, had a couple of comments um, asking, was the head cracked or anything like that? And it looked like on the video, it showed up the head cracked. Well, it's all been tested and there's no cracks, which is obviously a big bonus. So real chuffed about that. Uh, I did squirt a little bit of WD-40 on it, um, or should I say penetrating oil um, or whatever. Um, when I got it back to stop it going rusty and uh, it's done the job quite nicely. So uh, I might have to give it a little bit of paint before we uh, put it all back together. So that's the head, all back and nice. Let's put that back there a minute. It's like the ash shot. And here we have a brand new set of gaskets um, supplied by Felpro uh, off the internet. Uh, it's a full engine set, uh, including head gasket, blah, blah, blah. So I thought I might as well get the full engine set if I have any other bother, I've got the gaskets. They always make sense, so there we are. Uh, that's the gasket set. Um, we won't, in this video we won't be um, uh, getting the engine running because I've still got to get a few more bits and uh, for all those who live in England and uh, are going to the military show at Malvern on Sunday I'll be there collecting a few bits for Eugene um, with the children because they're all coming and, uh, and hopefully then when I do the next video I'll have all the bits to then get them going and running and uh, have them all like new which will be fantastic. Um, so yeah, so without further ado, we will get on and refit the head um, and do as much as we can, uh, you know, uh, before getting these other parts that I need. Right, when I removed the head bolts um, <coughs> from Eugene, uh, I found that I had six bolts that have all been cleaned up uh, with an F on and three without an F on. So obviously these are for the Ford and these are for a willies no doubt so exactly the same bolt got the same little rebate on them and everything um apart from them got the s now the other thing i noticed obviously is with the head it shouldn't say willies on it if it's ford uh but the head does say willies on it so at some point it's had a head change um you know uh, so it's got a head from the willies no big deal to me but some people think oh it's got to be right it's got to be a ford one that's fine. And one day, uh, if I come across a forward one, I'll change them over. And um, obviously collecting the bolts is all part of the fun, isn't it, really? But uh, anyway, so I've got uh, six original uh, bolts with F on and three that are all cleaned up, ready to go back on. Um, I also got, I'll put these over here, Wait a minute. The three bolts that hold the Uh, water pipe that goes on top of the head. Um, excuse me. Um, we've got two two with um, F's and one with PA on, uh, slightly longer as well. So what that rogue one is, I don't know. But anyway, it'll go back on for now. I've cleaned up this. Uh, this is where the firm stat would be, I guess. But I don't think it had a firm stat. Hasn't got a firm stat. And I can't see any reason why it would have. Once it doesn't have a heater, but um, firm stat housing. It's got GPW on it, 250JD, all cleaned up, give it a coat of paint to tidy it up really. Uh, that's all ready to go back on as well. So, uh, we'll get on and uh, get it all back together now. And don't forget lads, health and safety first, every time. <laughs>
head refitted. I expect you saw my deliberate mistake at the end of the uh, high collapse video there, um, where I uh, took down all the head bolts and I need to realise I hadn't put the air filter tube on. So I had to take two back off and then pop it on. Um, also, uh, it's not painted that bit. I wasn't really going to paint anything, but I thought, well, I've got the paint, might as well just tidy it all up, sort of rust a little bit. Um, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so I might even replace that air hose, yeah. Uh, depends what I can find at Morven on Sunday. Like I said, I'm going over there. Uh, if I can replace it, I'll put a new one on there. Uh, I've got to put new leads anyway. And uh, so I'll see what I can find. Anyway, uh, that's it for now. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe these videos if, uh, uh, to the videos if you're enjoying them. Tell your mates, share them around, you know, the more the merrier. Comment as much as you want. Uh, tell me I'm being an idiot if I've done something wrong. Uh, and if I'm doing okay, let me know. Um, it's all a learning curve for me. I don't know about these Jeeps. Everything I'm learning is from a book or from you guys, um, which I've learned an awful lot from you guys, more than the, the book uh, so far. But, um, you know, it's coming together. The, you know, can only be doing a good thing by getting it back on the road and, and everything else. So, yeah. Keep in touch, keep watching, keep sharing the videos, uh, the more the merrier. All right, ta-da for now. Hi okay, guys, what, oh. <laughs> Got that wrong, press the button. Hi right, guys, and welcome back. I'm just going to